Talking about inside linebackers now, this draft might not be the strongest uh, in history in terms of uh, you know the inside linebacker position. We don't see a lot of first-round picks, but we do see some solid players that, that are good off-the-ball football players. First is uh, Jeremiah Trotter Jr. from Clemson, you know, the son of former you know, solid Eagle player, Jeremiah Trotter. And uh, these are different kind of players. Uh, Jeremiah Jr. is, you know, uh, athletic linebacker, quick, a little bit undersized, possibly plays really well in space. He's very instinctive. Uh, He's versatile in terms of what NFL teams look for in an off-the-ball linebacker. He's got outstanding agility. His strengths are playing in space and coverage. Extreme quickness getting to the perimeter on outside runs and his outstanding range and pursuit gets the tackles across the field that most guys can't get to. Excellent change of direction and stop start quickness. Uh, avoids blocks and pursuit and flashes hand uses on the move. In coverage, you get solid depth and zone drops and balances multiple receivers on high low routes. Not the most physical guy and his hand usage is a little suspect at this time. Uh, he can give ground on plays at him. We'll, we'll need to develop better stack and shed ability. And in the right scheme, he's going to be, we think he'll be a really good football player. Uh, the next guy is Edgar and Cooper from Texas A&M. And he's a good length, speed, off the ball linebacker who, you know, in some ways came out of nowhere this year. Excellent length for the position. He has a big tackle radius and makes tackles that others might not get to. He's instinctive. He's very, he's patient reading his key and he has a nose for the ball once he sees it. He has the ability to avoid slip blocks on the move and locate the ball. He has range to chase sideline to sideline and can be physical tackling. Tends to run through tackles and while he can get upright, he rarely misses. He's been used often to blitz and shows anticipation and quickness at the snap. He's got a closing burst chasing quarterbacks, and he's been very productive as a pass rusher. Somewhat high cut, and that will be something to watch, is he's not the best take on linebacker. But, you know, he had a great year, and he's a solid prospect. The next guy is Peyton Wilson from North Carolina, a guy we've been watching for a long time. Injuries really derailed his career for a while, and he resumed a significant role last year, but he was even better this past season. Outstanding range and pursuit, consistently makes plays in space, excellent open field tackler. He has what NFL teams look for in a linebacker with cover skill and chase ability. Often used to blitz, he's got a knack for hitting an open gap and closing on the quarterback. Not the most physical take on guy and will be best suited as a will in most schemes. He was Chuck Bednarik Award winner in 2023 and a Butkus Award uh, winner as well. So this is a this is a guy who had a great season and solid prospect. The next guy is Junior Colson from Michigan. He has the desired frame of a traditional NFL inside linebacker. Uh, to go with that, he's instinctive against the run and has the twitch and athleticism need, needed to excel. Excellent downhill reaction. He can take an open window and make plays in the backfield. Uses his hands to ward off blocks on the move. His agility allows him to make plays all along the lines. He's got perimeter to perimeter range and pursuit. He's an excellent zone defender. He can reroute and run the seam along with flipping his hips and finding the throwing lane in zone cover. He can stay with inside receivers. He's inconsistent taking on blocks and will have to develop in that area. He will occasionally miss tackles by leaving his feet, but those are things that can be worked on. Uh, he's got some good tools, and, and he's he's a definite prospect. The last guy is Maris Lafau from Notre Dame. Uh, he's a versatile player. He's not the biggest guy. He's moved around the Notre Dame defense. He's been an overhang player. He's been comes off the edge as a blitzer. He's primarily been used as a mic. Uh, he's a high motor athlete, outstanding play, solid read and react, and locate the ball and chase. Cover skill in the short and intermediate zones with a feel for pattern pressure. He can reroute an inside receiver and quickly find a throwing lane. Shows good football IQ and always around the ball. Some athletic limitations may hold him back, but he has been an excellent special team player, which is which increases his value.